Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm heading out into the streets of London to use a film camera. Now the film camera that I'm using is a Bronica. It's a medium format camera and I'm using a ISO 100 color film. I'm super excited to try this. Never tried it before. And I think that's part of the, the whole point of being a photographer is trying something new. So let's go and have a look and see how it goes. Okay, so one of the things when you're shooting obviously on film is you need to get the right settings for lighting. So let's say I'm shooting this way towards the really harsh lighting. The Bronica can have, it can shoot a maximum of 500th of a second. Um, and then obviously in the, uh, on the lens, I can set the aperture myself. So the app that I use is a light meter app from the app store. I'm sure you can get it on Android as well. And essentially what you can do is you can set the parameters that you know. So I know that the ISO is 100. I know that the shutter speed is gonna be 500 because of the lighting. And I don't wanna shoot anything like uh, long exposure or anything like that. So then I point it at the light source of where I want it to be and I press measure and it'll tell me kind of what I want the f-stop to be, the aperture to be. So it's saying f9, but personally I think that's gonna be too bright. So I'll point it more towards the sky and do it again. And it's saying f11. So I reckon it would probably be, uh, yeah, between f11 and let's say in the shadows, it'd probably be like f4, f5.6. So if I'm shooting this way, you're gonna look down this eyepiece here. Now on the Bronicas, you do have like another option to get like a, another piece on top so you can like do like a look down so you're essentially you could be like looking down at it like this but what i'm going to do is i'm going to be looking for the eyepiece in this section here and i'm going to be focused on this area here okay so i've got the focus set there i've got all the settings and then you take your shot and then obviously once you've taken your shot that's the shot that you've got and you wind it on on the right hand side nice and simple we're going to walk up towards green park because we're actually funny enough i'm actually heading to uh exchange this camera today for another one because i want something more portable because when i go traveling i want to be able to take a film camera with me and as you can see this is like the size of a, a red komodo which is <laughs> it's super big and bulky to carry around but i think the settings are going to probably stay between 500th of a second we'll keep it at um between f 5.6 and f 11 depending on the lighting and obviously the ISO is the ISO of the film which is 100. So as you can see the lighting is just absolutely lovely today. Um, so I'm going to face this way. Um, I didn't mention but I've got a fifth, what is the mil? I've got the 75 mil uh, lens on here as well. So I'm going to shoot this one in landscape. I'm shooting towards the sun so it's going to be f11. And let's go, let's get the focus. Nice. It's really nice. Okay, so there is another way that you could do this. So I don't know if you guys could see this, right? So normally you can get like a thing to go on here with like flaps. So you can kind of like do like look down like this, but when you're in like harsh lighting, you can't see it. So we'll face this way. And if I get the light meter up, like so, and we'll do a little bit of a measurement over this way. Uh, and we can change the shutter, I think, to like maybe 250. So 250 here, and it's saying put it down to like 3, F3. So we'll put it at, I think, 125, and we'll go F4, I think. So the framing that I want to get is this in the background. You've got like the wooden, where the like window should be, all that wood, and then we'll have maybe one single subject going across the frame. So if I show you the frame, we're looking down i've got the settings on f like four so it's on f4 uh 125th of a second and then obviously like the base iso of the film which is 100. oh go on perfect <laughs> that could be a banger i'm well happy with that perfect absolutely perfect some dude with like a nice top hat walked not top hat but like a uh, wide brimmed hat walk through the frame and I think it turned out pretty sick. Okay, so the frame that I'm looking at is this here. I'm gonna make sure that I've got all the right settings. So I'm gonna get the light meter out. I'm gonna put it on 200th of a second. Uh, sorry, 250th of a second. And we'll go, change that up, 250. And do bam. So yeah, like F11, F13. But the dude that I wanted to take a photo of has just moved. 
there was a guy kind of like walking through here smoking a cigarette and the reflection looked really sick okay so there's gonna be someone walking through the frame anytime now i'm gonna come back a little bit i'm gonna shoot it in a portrait mode portrait mode <laughs> i'm gonna shoot it in portrait he's gonna walk through the frame now three two one oh hope i got it hope i got that i think i did oh yeah that's all i do with it just just spray it pray i'm gonna get another one here i think actually in uh landscape because i think oh that's nice if i shoot kind of like using these two bikes as like a, a frame and then i'm going to focus on the Burberry sign in the background like that and i'm just basically going to wait for someone to walk into the frame okay so so you guys can see that's the frame that i'm looking at i don't know if you can kind of see that uh you can kind of see it that's the frame i'm looking at i just missed that shot but that's what i'm looking at here and hopefully oh, i just missed another shot <laughs> too busy explaining there we go. Do you want to see that? Oh. That was the frame. Oh, that's a nice frame. So I'm hoping settings are right. And uh, I mean, you guys can see it on the screen whether or not it looks good. No. Uh, um, I mean, there is a possibility that this video is just, just a whole video of me fucking up an entire roll of film. There is that possibility because this is the first film. It's the first film I've ever shot. So yeah don't hate too much the next shot is going to be this one here with the dude just sat on his phone yeah probably get a little bit better so i'll show you the frame actually so if we look down i don't know if you can see it but you can kind of see it there that's the shot hopefully it's going to be correctly exposed we will know well i mean you guys will find out anytime So, I mean, I might actually go like head on here. Let's throw the, the thing back on. Yeah, hang on, wait, wait, wait. I mean, you can. I'm gonna get one portrait shot as well. So same settings. Um, I might change it to F16. Um, sick shot. See if we can cross without getting run over. Oh, there's a shot over there I wanted to get, actually. Oh, that dude, what a vibe. There's a guy coming uh, towards us on the other side of the street. He's got like a, um, like a wide brim hat on. I'm thinking if I come down a little bit this way and kind of shoot back towards the street. So I'm, oh, I'm just wondering. Okay, so this is the shot here. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get it. I'm just gonna have to get it. Come on, walk, walk ahead of everyone else. Wanting to be on his own in the frame, own in the frame, own in the frame, own in the frame. Bam. I don't know if I got that. I mean, you guys can see whether or not I got it. Fingers crossed I did. The things I like about film is that it makes you think about the shot that you're getting. And it makes you kind of assess whether or not it's the shot that you want. So obviously with digital, you could just take the shot and you're like, well, it's all right. And then that's it. Um, I mean, you've seen it in my videos. I've done that where I'm like kind of happy with it, but not. But I feel like when it matters, you really take the time to think about what you're shooting. Get this shot here of the two police on horses. If I take this off, you'll be able to see the shot that I'm getting. So focus it down so you can see. So I'm focusing. Nice. So I'm gonna shoot like through. There we go. Like that, sick. Probably should have changed the setting slightly. Mm. I kind of want to shoot through. I want, can you go and stand in the frame? Can I go stand in the frame? No, no, you're good, you're good. Bam. Sick. So for that, it was a F11. Shot speed was 250. And then, obviously, the film ISO of 100. Is that a YouTube camera? Huh? Is that a YouTube camera? Yeah, it's a, it's a film camera. So it's, a, it's an old film camera. Not like... No, so it's, it, film is like the thing that you use in the back of it to take a photo. It's not like a, 
a new camera where you use digital. Okay, so that was effortless. Shadow Speed 250 <laughs> of the guard changing. Checking this song is copyrighted. Oh! Okay, so I've only got two shots left on the film camera. Um, and I want to kind of get them here because I'm just going down here basically to get a different camera to do another video. But there's a frame on the other side that I quite like. This dude walking across the frame. Bam. Okay, let's get... We've got two more, two more shots. So I'm thinking... Let's go, we're gonna go down this way a little bit. Maybe I can get one of the taxi driver. So I'm gonna go into portrait mode. I'm gonna get the light meter out. And just make sure I've got the right settings. I'm gonna get, so I'm gonna hold it like this and I'm gonna put it to my eye and get the focus. Okay, and I've got, I think, one more. I'm gonna get a shot of this camera shop on the other side, which actually is quite fitting. So I'm gonna wait, that was actually quite a good shot of the dude going through. So we're gonna get this shot and then we're gonna have a look at the hashtag, but we're gonna go, let's go down so you guys can see the frame. And I'm gonna wait for someone to walk through that frame. Three, two, walk. Walk! Bam. Done. Okay, right. Let's jump into the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days. So as mentioned at the beginning of the video, I was using a Bronica medium format camera. The film roll was at an ISO 100 and it was color. And honestly, the, the, the final images looked amazing. I'm so happy with it. Um, and at the end of that video, I actually went into that camera shop and I swapped the cameras from that, uh, that Bronica to this one here, which has uh, got an internal light meter. So it means I don't have to use the app all the time. And it means it's got this viewfinder up top, meaning that I can do some, you'll see in the later videos. But essentially this makes my life a lot easier um, because it's essentially an aperture priority all of the time. So let's jump into the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days. So I use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram where you guys can show me the work that you're creating. You just add it to your caption and then I get to see it here. The hashtag is currently at 271,000 posts, which is insane. You guys are insane and the content inspires me every single day. So we're gonna go to the most recent and we're gonna scroll to do a little refresh. And we're gonna start with Let's go with some nice street shots. So this one here is really nice. You've got like the uh, the wall on the right hand side giving a bit of depth to where the subject is. And uh, that is some wind. That wind is not doing the hair any good, is it? Look at that. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, going down a bit more. Let's go with this one. This is really nice. I love the framing. Like for me, the composition on this is really nice. And it's just like, oh, it's just so good. I don't know what it is about it that I like so much, but that little, there's like a little pocket of space just there. That little pocket of space, I don't know, it kind of makes the photo. I don't know if any of you agree with me, but it just gives that separation in the image that makes it just really, it's a really nice shot. Uh, going down, let's go to, da, 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 da. okay, going down, scroll, scroll, scroll. That's cool. What, what am I looking at here? That was so weird. It was like pixelated on the, on the, it was so like intriguing. I wanted to know what was going on, but it's just a fence and someone behind it. But because of the fence, the way it's like lined up, it kind of, it's weird. I don't know, is anyone else seeing this? It kind of like creates this kind of like weird, I don't know what you'd call it. I don't know, maybe comment below if you, if you can think about what I can't think of, but it gives that really cool like, Sli it's like it's been sliced up, you know, like in uh, in Photoshop. It's like it's been spliced into different segments. Love that shot. Okay, this one here is uh, some dude on the, the tube. I love the tube because I don't know what it is about the, the London Underground, 
but it has this certain vibe, like when you get on it. If you've ever been to London, you kind of understand what I mean. If you live here, you'll also understand what I mean. But it, this this portrays that vibe. If you'd have to try, you'd have to come and, and, and see what I mean to be able to understand the vibe. Uh, going down a bit more, let's go with another street shot. I just want to grab a street shot because we did street today. Let's go with, da -da, ooh, that's cool. That, that stood straight out at me because of the lighting and everything. Really like that. Um, let's do two more. We'll do two more shots. Another shot in a bus or an underground. This one is in uh, Cologne in Germany. Really love that shot. Really like it. There's like kind of a flare on the left hand side. I don't know if it's because you were shooting through like glass and it caused this reflection or something. But I really like that. It's a really great shot. Graded really well. Love that shot. Next one. Let's go with... Ooh, I, this one kind of speaks to me. I don't know why. I think because the focus is on the people in the middle, because they're kind of like they're kind of like uh, lighter than the rest of the image, so it makes them stand out a little bit more. Love the shot. If you do want to get featured on this channel, use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram, and you get a chance to be featured here. So in the near future, I've got some more film POVs coming out, which I'm super excited to release. I've got some other stuff going on in February, which I'll talk about when we get there. Um, I've also, over the next two weeks, gonna be releasing new clothing. So in the past, I've released hoodies and t-shirts and that type of thing. I've rebranded that, made new designs, and uh, they should be released in the, in the next week or so. So if you wanna see any of that, subscribe, notification, all of that stuff. And with all that being said, create more, stress less, and of course, I'll see you in the next one. This thing is honestly a thing of beauty. I've been using it a lot.